Have you ever had a female friend or a relative who was so attached to a man that she knows and that you know is not good for her? So I'm going to try to explain how and why that happens using science. Back in the 60s and 70s, scientist Harry Harlow conducted studies on rhesus monkeys showing that infants became more attached to surrogate mothers that were harsh and unloving compared to nurturing ones. This is one of the early insights into how attachment works, not just in monkeys, but in humans too. So people often think that our attachment styles are fixed. This is not actually the case. They can change depending on our relationships. Being in a really turbulent relationship can shift a secure attachment style to a more disorganized one, influenced by how we experience and anticipate rewards, driven by the neurotransmitter dopamine. So dopamine spikes not when we get a reward, but when we anticipate it, making the unpredictable nature of an on-again, off-again relationship way more addictive than a stable, loving one. So this isn't just a human trait. It's seen across mammals and is deeply rooted in our brain's wiring. We often unfairly blame women who stay in these tough relationships, thinking that our choices are the problem. But really, our actions are just normal behavior that all mammals show. What I think is weird is how some men act in these relationships, using control and harm in ways that we don't even see in the animal world. So maybe it's time to ask why these boyfriends and husbands behave like this instead of asking, why is she with them?